everyone, I'm Keely and this is Voice of a Creative and today I'm here to show you my fabric stash to take part in the Show Us Your Stash 2020 challenge. Now this challenge has been organised by Sean from Kittenish Behaviour and Danny from Pocket or Two and they thought it would be fun to come up with a few different prompts to allow us to show you what we've got in our fabric stashes. And so I thought it would be really fun to take part, but I really did have a hard time finding fabrics for the prompts, but I have managed to find a few. There's not just one for every prompt, but I hope you enjoy looking through some of my fabric stash. So I will get started on that in just a second. It is coming up to my two year YouTube birthday and that is on the 30th of May. And I'm also coming up to 4,000 subscribers. I think I'm about 160 away. And it would be really cool if 4,000 subscribers and my birthday for YouTube kind of came together because I think that would just be really fun. Um, when I first started this channel, I didn't even think that I would get 100 or 1,000 subscribers, let alone be short of 4,000 subscribers and still be doing it two years later. So it's absolutely incredible. So if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for your support. But if you haven't subscribed, please do, because actually it really kind of makes my day to see so many people really interested in watching my videos, and that's really great. So on to the prompts. So I've written them down, so I've got them in here, and so I will read what the prompt is and then show you the fabric. So the first one is my favourite fabric. So my overall favourite fabric to sew with is viscose jersey. I love the drape of it and any dresses I've made in it, I really love the look of. I just prefer the drape of it compared to cotton jersey and overall my favourite fabrics are jersey fabrics anyway. So I've picked three jerseys from my stash to show you, uh, all for slightly different reasons. So the first one is this one and this is a cotton jersey from Stoff and Still. And the reason I love this one is because it just has so much character. The little leopard makes me laugh. I love the little eyelashes and the closed eyes with the little parasol. I think it's a really cute character design. And I bought this initially to make a t-shirt, so I've got one meter. I haven't decided what t-shirt I want to go for yet, which is why it's still like this, but they do still have this available on their website. So if you'd like to get some, you can head across and um, I will just link it down below. But absolutely love the cute little characters of these leopards and I can't wait to make this into a t-shirt. I just need to kind of get on with it, really. <laughs> the next fabric is this one. Now I got this from Like So Amazing. And it's an art gallery fabric in these beautiful blues with these really cute little cat faces. And I absolutely love it as a fabric. It's blue, it's got cats, amazing things. But... I don't know what to make with it. Now when I bought it I had planned to make a long sleeved t-shirt and I think that sh still should be the plan but I was kind of torn because I was going to make the Frankie tee by Tilly and the Buttons which is a raglan sleeve top but I'm worried about one of the cat faces being cut in half if I do that like on the diagonal of the sleeve but I suppose they would be cut in half even if I did like a normal sleeve as well so I'm not too sure what to do Really, I should just go ahead and sew that because I get a lot of wear out of it, especially in the current time. But I just need to build up the courage to cut into it because I'm not sure that I'll be able to get it again if it does go wrong or I want to make like a second thing out of it. So that's that one. The last one is this one. Now this is a really beautiful viscous jersey. And this is from Pin and Sew. And it's just got a really lovely soft feel to it. Might be this way around actually. Yeah, it's that way around. It's got a really lovely soft feel. I think it's almost kind of a modal viscose jersey. Fantastic quality, beautiful drape as well. And I just love the background colour and the beautiful magnolias as well. I think it's really pretty colours that go together. And I had planned to make a self-drafted dress out of this, but I just haven't gotten round to it yet. Uh, but I think I would get a lot of wear out of that and I should really pull that out and get that cut out and soon. Okay, so the next prompt is my oldest fabric. So I've kind of got two stashes in a way. I've got the fabrics that I've bought more recently, 
well in the last four years that I usually sew with and then I've got a very small selection of fabrics left over from the kind of things I used to sew before. Now when I first started sewing up until I started sewing with jerseys so for the first four years of my sewing I mostly sewed dresses and they were mostly dresses that I could wear like on a night out um, and skirts as well and there was one particular pattern that I used which was a corset and then what I'd done is I it didn't have any straps so I gathered a piece of fabric on the shoulder and brought it down and sewed it into the top of the corset and so it, you could have like well, lace straps with a corset bodice and then I just added on kind of a tulip skirt or a pleated skirt whatever I kind of felt like kind of just mixed it together so this fabric is left over from that time when I used to make lots of dresses to wear out so this is a fabric my mum bought me and I remember it being an Easter present and this is it so absolutely beautiful colour this is a colour that I would still go for now I think it's from Fabricland, I think, and it's kind of shiny with a kind of metallic feel and the reason I haven't used it is because I probably wouldn't wear this kind of fabric anymore but I've still kept it because I've got like two meters of it but it is my oldest fabric and I have a few other ones like this like silky fabrics that I used to sew with a lot but I haven't in kind of years so I just don't wear this kind of dress or go out that much anymore so that's why uh, but yeah this is my oldest fabric so I think I got this for Easter when I still lived at home and I probably wasn't maybe at six form still maybe not that long ago I don't know probably about 10 years I've had this fabric but I haven't had a chance to use it yet. So the next prompt is one that I'm scared to cut into. Now this probably won't be a surprise, I have mentioned this fabric before, but the one I'm scared to cut into is this fabric here. Now this is a fabric that I got when I went to Japan and that's part of the reason why I'm scared to cut into it because actually if it goes wrong I cannot buy this fabric again. I have never seen knit fabrics like this in the UK at all or even like online on different shops so if I cut into it I might not be able to get the same fabric again Now, when I bought it I thought about making a cardigan with it or making a jumper with it now this fabric it's got a bit of a frill I'm trying to show you the frill so it looks like it's got little pockets on it and the other side is cream as well so it's a knit fabric really beautiful quality but I have got I could make a blackwood cardigan out of it I've got plenty of kind of sweater and jumper patterns I could make out of it and it would go really well I would get a lot of wear out of it but once this fabric's gone it's gone and so I don't want to cut into it and that's kind of why so the next one is don't have a clue what to make with it now I picked out three fabrics for this and they are all woven fabric. That's partially why I don't really know what to make with them because I just don't sew with woven fabrics quite as much as when I initially started sewing. So I've got three fabrics here. The first two again are from Japan and I think that this is part of the reason why I don't know what to make with them because again I don't want it to go wrong, I can't get these fabrics again. Now these are Japanese cottons and they feel really beautiful so they're slightly more structured but they have kind of a soft kind of meshy feel it's got a totally different feel to cotton it's not smooth so much and this one's absolutely beautiful so it's a it, it's a printed design with the speckles of different color and the brush marks and the little birds and I just think it's absolutely beautiful beautiful color as well and I haven't cut into it but also I don't really know what pattern to make so if you've got any idea of what I could make with this it would be great if you could comment below and then I can make a test version and hopefully make it into something I would like to make something that's kind of longer lasting because as soon as I see this fabric I think of Japan and actually it was a really lovely holiday that I went on with my husband and yeah it brings back those memories and it's just so beautiful so 
yeah, ideas for that one. The next one is also a Japanese cotton and it is this lovely floral. Now I just totally love the colours on this. This one is a little bit more structured than the other one. So I think it was probably like a shirt or something would be quite good. But I've got, I think, three metres of this. So I've got quite a bit of it. And then I just love the pastel colours. It's got purples and blues and greens with the navy background. But again, not quite sure uh, what to make with that one. And my last one is this. Now this is a canvas fabric that I got from Like So Amazing. And it's a really cute one because it has all of these little kitten faces on it. And I couldn't resist buying it. I bought a metre because I thought actually that would be enough to make a little pinafore or a skirt or maybe like part of a jacket or something like that. But I still haven't decided what to make with this. So if you've got any ideas of things I could make that would be quite wearable, then that would be great for that one. They're little faces. So next up is fabric with a story. Now, looking through my stash, I didn't really find many fabrics that had a story apart from maybe I'd bought them um, when I went on holiday or something like this. This is a fabric that I bought on holiday. So for my honeymoon, we went to New York. So this was 2017, so a few years ago now. And I've always watched Project Runway. And on Project Runway, Tim Gunn always says, oh, we're going to mood. I know he's not really on Project Runway anymore, but when I first watched it. And so when I knew we were going to New York, I was really desperate to go to Mood. And I wanted to see Swatch the Dog and have a look around and kind of be where Project Runway was filmed. And so when we went to New York, we did actually have a chance to do that. We, we did lots of other things as well, went to lots of art galleries and museums and things. But one of the t days we did in the afternoon go to the Fabric District and go into Mood. And it's quite a surprise going in there because you expect it to be straight off the street, but actually you have to like go in a lift and go up to the store, uh, which is completely different to what I kind of imagined because it doesn't look like that when it's uh, on film. And at the time I had been planning to make some stretchy trousers, some like ponty trousers, which I still haven't perfected the pattern for, and this is like years later, but I had a look for fabrics that would be appropriate for that as well as other fabrics I'd like. Now they didn't have many jerseys there at the time, or they did but they weren't really my colours, but I did buy a couple of patterned ponties and a few other fabrics which I do still have as well. So I picked out this one. So this is a ponty fabric, but it's got a slight rib to it, and I bought this to make some trousers with, and I'd planned to make some cigarette style trousers with pockets. I had a similar pair that I've taken a pattern from and I just haven't gotten around to it. But I still love this fabric. I think it would look really good with, for trousers and then with a plain top. And I think this is the other thing. It's I don't really wear plain tops anymore. So this is a fabric with a story because I was excited to buy it from Mood. But I think it's been a couple of years and actually my style started to change. So now I'm not entirely sure what to make with this or do I just go ahead and make the trousers and I probably will get good wear out of them. Yeah, bit of a decision there with that one. But I still do like this fabric. It's just I don't really sew too much with Ponty. And I think at that time I did still sew quite a lot with Ponty. That's why I'm a little bit confused now about what to make with this more so. But that's that one. So the next prompt is a precious fabric and why. And I've selected two fabrics for this. And these are some Liberty fabrics, some li Liberty jerseys. Now, this one is absolutely beautiful quality. It's the best viscose jersey I've ever sewn with. But they don't make much of it, and that's why it's so precious. Because literally, if I cut into this, I can't probably get more. And also, it's quite expensive. So, this is the fabric. Now, it's really beautiful. Love the colour. Love the design, I think it's really cute. I've got a metre and a half of it. And this one is honestly the most beautiful quality jersey. Now, I do have a dress that I made out of this similar quality jersey, which had, um, it's the, May the Mayfield viscose jersey. And it has a William Morris style pattern on it with little bugs. And that is my favorite dress, uh, just because of the pattern, but also because of the fabric. Now, this, is that same quality viscous jersey 
and that is why I haven't cut into it because it's absolutely beautiful. And L Liberty don't really do many jerseys. This is really beautiful and I really hope to make something really good out of it. And I got this from Guthrie Garney. So I think this was about two years ago. The same with this one. Again, this is a Liberty print. And this is a cotton jersey. It's a little bit finer the, than some of the like art gallery cotton jerseys, but it's so cute. I love this design. It's got pops of colors. It's ditzy and floral, exactly my kind of print. But again, you can't get very many Liberty cotton jerseys. And so although I would love to cut this and make this into a dress, and I think I'd wear it loads, I don't want this fabric to kind of run out. <laughs> So that brings me on to the next prompt, which is your dream fabrics. Now, my precious fabrics, my Liberty fabrics, are my dream fabrics. And I love the Liberty designs, I think they do beautiful designs, as well as I love the art gallery cotton jerseys as well, and the art gallery prints. And I think why they're my dream fabrics is because I know the ones I've sewn with have washed really well and sewn really well and although they're expensive actually they're worth the quality uh, but you do kind of consider a little bit more what you're buying. With the Liberty fabrics they you know they do their tanner lawns and they're absolutely beautiful and I do have some of their tanner lawns which I love the designs of but they actually you can get unlimited supplies of those. There's plenty of designs, lots of different fabric to choose from, but their jerseys, they don't print as many jerseys and they're in kind of shorter supply. There's less suppliers that kind of handle them. And so my dream fabric is to have more of this beautiful quality viscose jersey. And I just wish that Liberty would bring out more viscose jersey. They've got so many beautiful designs, they just need to kind of make more jersey versions. And that's what I would absolutely love. That's my kind of dream fabrics. I also would love it if art gallery fabrics bought out some viscose jerseys as well, because they do, again, beautiful designs, but getting them only in cotton jersey doesn't give you as much variety. So I think that those would be my dream fabrics. So Liberty or art gallery fabrics, if you're listening, uh, viscous jerseys please in your beautiful designs <laughs> so the last prompt is where do you keep your stash so I'm just going to swap the camera around to show you okay so this is where I keep my stash so this is a new unit that I got when I moved into this studio and this is a five by five calyx unit and I've got all of my fabric stored in here apart from some of the scrap kind of pieces so they're not all filled with fabric and some of the drawers are different things so I'll just quickly go through what I've got in them so this one is full of cotton fabrics and that's for kind of quilting type things then we've got I just switched these around so there's threads in this one so for the overlocker this one has some uh, larger scraps and this one is paper patterns this one is a fabric that I'm either de-stashing or are reserved for projects for other people. Then we've got heavyweight fabrics like cord and denim. Viscose is in this box. Viscose twill in this one. And cotton in this one. And these, these boxes along here, these three, they're not full. I've just split them so it's easier for me to kind of pull out a fabric that is necessary. Then in my drawers, the first drawers I've got art supplies and my camera equipment, but then I've got kind of notions and things in these three drawers here. And then at the bottom here, I've got sweatshirtings and French terries over the end here, and then heavier weight kind of ponties and knit fabrics for cardigans in this one. And then we've got viscose jersey, two boxes, and cotton jersey, two boxes. So this is where I store everything and it's fantastic storage to keep everything in. So that is all the prompts. Definitely go and check out everybody else's videos. If you just type in show us your stash 2020 into search, loads of videos come up and I have watched quite a few of them already and have quite a few on my list to watch as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please press the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to hear more from me. Goodbye. Thank you.